So I've got a quick wash and brush up. Everything is empty. And she's up to the seal. A bit sad, a bit happy. Looks very odd with nothing in. She's empty and some people are coming today to have a look. Let's hope they appreciate everything that she's done and that she can do for someone else. So, hi everyone, we've had a few questions about the specifications for our minibus. So uh, I thought I'd come on and uh, just give you a little bit of a, an idea of what type of a bus it is. So it's an Iveco Daily minibus, uh, was previously a 16-seater minibus. Now we've taken out all of the seats, there's only two. Um, it's got around 136,000 miles on the clock. Um, and was previously owned by the Liverpool uh, Liverpool Fire Service, yeah, Liverpool City Fire Service, and uh, uh, so we hope from that that they've they've uh, well maintained it through the years. Uh, they were the only previous owner. Um, we are the the second owner. So uh, so that's it. Um, inside, there's about four point six meters from the back of the driver's seat all the way to the back of the bus. So we've got a length of about 4.6 uh, 4 meters there. Um, I think that's about it, uh, 2.8 cc, yeah. Good morning everyone. It's Saturday the 22nd of January. Uh, thought I would come and give you a good update because I haven't been able to film for quite a while and we have cracked on with quite a few jobs. And um, I'll just take you through and I'll show you what we have done. As I mentioned in the last video, we put together some kitchen cabinets and they have now become like a workbench and a dumping station um, because we just need the space. And then we've made our bed. So this is going right across the back it's a full double and we just bought um, the mattress to go on top of that last weekend. So we've dropped it down underneath the, um, we've dropped it down underneath the window because I didn't want the mattress up against the window and that's the depth of the mattress and it's also the widest part of the bus. So that gives us a full length to stretch out. On this window above the bed, what I intend to do is black that one out and then insulate it and then completely cover it um, with a headboard so that there won't be a visible window there, just so that we've got more privacy for that part of the bedroom. So you'll also see that we've finished insulating and putting the vapour barrier on the ceiling. Now because it was a soft insulation um, it does tend to sag 
so just for convenience at the moment we've put up a pack of tongue and groove because that's what we're going to have on the ceiling and it's just holding everything in place until we get sorted and organized with everything else that we're doing mm -hmm. I just hope that they're easily to get to mm. they're not easy to get to <laughs> good luck thanks that uh, is a different <laughs> option <laughs> thank you that's as far back as thank the you for the kisses so we're just replacing the seat on the van, um, on the minibus, because this seat is actually broken down the back here. Yeah, you can see there where the back supports are all bulged yeah, so out. It's very much quite difficult to, to drive. So it looks like it's just six bolts. Uh, one, two, three, four, which I've taken out already. They come out quite easy because they're easily accessible. But the front two bolts, can't quite get to because they're in a more difficult position to reach so I'm trying to work out the best way to get to these two front bolts at the moment so if I put that one into there as well they are a bit tighter these a bit more difficult to get to weren't actually too tight good that's good that's what we want it might have been a bit easier if uh, the ratchet wasn't broken as well as not it <laughs> so. yeah then i could have just ratcheted ratcheted it Ted, yeah but there's actual stoppers on the back of um here so you can't push it any further back yeah which is a good thing yes because obviously you don't want your seat whizzing away yeah so I need a new ratchet. Yeah. Because uh, we broke it wrenching out, trying to wrench out the floor. Was that what um, we were, oh, the seats? On the, the seats and the floor, yeah. didn't we? And we it like just literally pulling it as broke hard as the we little could. thing inside. Yeah. I mean, it's still a good tool. Well, but it's not a ratchet anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's got a piece. There it is. There we go. Yay! <sighs> Did you film it? <laughs> Some of it. Good. That's good. So these are I can't keep them in order. Not that it should matter too much. So that's that, that's that. This is the front this side. And then that's the front. Over there. Nearly done. Just one to one to go. One to go. <laughs> That's one way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. So what we could call this a hack, couldn't we? It is. It's a hack. Yeah. So I can just do that. <laughs> it's a... Oh, so um, I'm pleased how easy it is actually though. When it's once we eventually get the six bolts out. Once we eventually get the six bolts out, it'll be very, yeah, exactly. It'll be very easy to swap the seat out, which is nice. Won't it? Yep. When I say easy, it's got a heavy piece of kit. Yeah. It's got a heavy thing. But when it's folded down like this, you can see even more how badly 
abused this seat has been. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So I think all the supports have gone yeah. in the back. You can see them like sticking out. Yeah. And then this side has a big bulge. You can do this if your ratchet is no longer ratcheting. see how badly broken the seat really is all those bits sticking out all the lumps and bumps yeah. leave that bolt still so Darren's just got the sixth bolt out and it's <laughs> the seat's literally fallen off the railings so good that'll be the front one there on that side. I'll try to keep them in order. That's something I remember from way back when my dad used to say, try and keep the bolts Everything in the right in order. order so that you can put them back in the same holes. When you were doing your car mechanical mm. workings. Yeah, I think that's good advice. So, Max. I've got to lift it out now. Go on. Big strong man. They are very heavy, aren't they? Quite heavy, yeah. Good quality piece of, piece of seat. <laughs> there <we> go. <laughs> Poor Max is like, where's my seat gone? It was uncomfortable, but at least it was a seat. Right. Oh, that's it done. Straight to the back. Let's cross into the. Yep, back I think that's perfect. Down. Yeah. yeah. So that looks really well. Maybe keep them lined up. Do you that's think? That's what I'm saying. Just keep them lined up with the wood that we've put in place, as opposed to the wall. Right. That, yeah. That, that's what I was asking. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, so our woods are straight, the wall isn't necessarily straight. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's pet I think that's tidy. Yeah, that looks really nice. Off you go then. Are you looking for your seat? Oh, yeah, seat's gone, isn't it? Yeah, we're happy with that. I think that's straight and tidy, and it looks really nice. Do two here and then that'll, or just one? Just one. That should be sufficient, shouldn't it? Good. 
we're just figuring out and trying to secure in the batteries we have two uh, leisure batteries that are going to sit behind the driver's seat but within the living area and this is the seating area that we've worked on today includes our toilet and it'll be sort of one long I'll show you from this angle one long seating area going all the way up to our bed and then this first section so this large one that we have built behind the driver's seat that's all going to get filled in so that will be um, a full panel it's also where all of the wires are going to come so there's some solar coming into the uh, MPPT there's something to do with the Wi-Fi that will have our light switches all of that kind of stuff will all come in and be on a panel on here it will also then be the backrest to the seat then this section is for the batteries and for the charcoal filter to the toilet there's the toilet and that's the charcoal filter that goes on the toilet we just pulled it out while we work around the batteries then that's our um, heater in there so I'm just now trying to figure out how to incorporate um, like a, a hidden floor inside here so that I can use the rest of it for storage but allowing air to circulate around the heater. Then the heater will vent out here. And then we've purposefully made this section over the wheel arch narrower so that we have a nice wider space um, for getting in and out of bed and for standing and working at the kitchen, getting washed getting dressed just extra space where two people can actually pass each other very very comfortably so then Darren's just cut two pieces and they're going to get screwed into the floor and they will hold the battery in place stop it jiggling around when we're driving make it safe and then the charcoal filter will come in to the back section uh, that's it. and plugs into the toilet just under where that brace is across there good we've done quite well this weekend haven't we yeah it's not bad it's moved on quite quickly i think yeah um can actually start to see it coming together now can't we definitely can start yeah. to see the space that we're working with and uh start to see the can almost start to see the finished product i suppose in a way because we can start to visualize you know cushions and things like that which is still a way away but at least we can visualize them now which is quite nice definitely yeah it's looking good good uh we also just want to let you know that the blue van has gone <laughs> so um we put it up for sale last weekend you did a, a quick advertisement for it and yeah. I cleaned it out um, we had a lot of interest very very quickly but the first lady that came bought it immediately and we delivered it to her in the week um, she only lives about 30 minutes away so it wasn't too much of a hassle and just sort of helped her out a bit mm -hmm. but we were just really pleased that it's going to go on to have another life and another use yeah Maybe much like ourselves yeah with some doggies and she did and she seemed really really pleased with it yeah she said it's a yes from me and uh <laughs> and yeah she seemed really happy with it which was which made us feel like it was going to a good home sounds yeah. a bit strange but yeah it was nice to know that it was going to somebody similar who's going to use it for similar things yeah um yeah very nice indeed <laughs>